My name is uh, Manu Sheiknacht, I'm 28 years old. I'm doing calisthenics and functional fitness now for over 10 years. I'm one of the founder from Bardox and now the CEO of Bardox Zurich and provide here classes for students and personal trainings and as you see an open gym for everyone. So my training looks like uh, in a split, I train legs and upper body splitted. I train once for the calisthenic skills but otherwise also for one rep max, so for power. So in the beginning the inspirations are getting from other athletes to see what they reached and now I think the inspiration is to the Bardox family just to keep that vibe up, push it more and more and yeah, get bigger. Back then with 18 years when I started I wasn't that fit, I was uh, really skinny, yeah it wasn't that healthy lifestyle that I have today. For learning calisthenic skill or the front lever, I think the best fit is to actually come to Bardox and learn it from the coaches here or from the people because here you get the input you personally need on yourself. In this video will give you five tips on how to shoot a professional interview with your phone. For this video, I reached out to Manu, who is a good friend of mine, to interview him. He is the founder of Bardock Zurich, where he teaches others how to master calisthenics and it's pretty awesome what he has achieved so far. I used to film a lot of his content for him and I remembered when he just started out, so it's nice to see the transformation. Now the video you just saw at the beginning was all shot on the iPhone using a couple of accessories. And I believe that anyone with a smartphone can do the same. Smartphones nowadays can capture high quality videos if done right without the need to hire a video production team. Now with these five simple tips that I'm about to show you, you will be able to instantly make better interview videos for yourself with your smartphone. Now keep in mind that this is a condensed version. If you want to dive in deeper and learn more on how to professionally film and edit an interview, you will find the two hour long extended version inside smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is my awesome online course where I give you a behind the scenes and explain to you all the details on how to set up, shoot and edit an interview. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure to check it out. With that said, let's get into those five tips. Now tip number one is to use a professional video app. I can't stress this enough. Being able to have full control over your camera allows you to get the shots you need. The Filmic Pro is a great video app that I personally use that gives you full control over your exposure, focus, shutter speed, picture profile, white balance, and much more. Also, if you plan on doing a documentary for Netflix and want to include some of your iPhone footage, Netflix even recommends using Filmic Pro. You can only do so much with the native camera app and I do use it from time to time, but for professional shoots, it's best to stick with Filmic Pro. At first glance, it might seem overwhelming with all of its features, but with the basic understanding and simple process, you can get some really great results. I also cover this in my course showing you everything there is to know about Filmic Pro. Now tip number two is to shoot in 24 or 25 frames per second. Now since I'm in Europe, I stick with the PAL format which is 25 frames per second. A lot of people have the tendency to shoot everything in 60 frames per second which gives you the flexibility to slow down the video in post whenever you like to but when it comes to shooting interviews you want to record the talking head part in 24 or 25 frames per second to avoid audio sync issues. This applies if you're recording audio separately. You will realize that the audio won't match up properly with the person talking and that is a pain to fix in post. So with that said, if you plan on slowing down your footage, shoot at a higher frame rate. If you film more narrative type of videos where you have a person talking to the camera, stick with 24 or 25 frames per second. Tip number three is to shoot with more than one camera if possible. Now you don't need multiple cameras to shoot a great interview, but if you have an additional camera, use it. I use the iPhone 13 Pro Max as my A cam and the iPhone 12 Pro Max as my B cam to capture Manuel from different angles. This not only makes the video more dynamic when cutting between the different cameras, but also simplifies the edit and makes the talent look more comfortable on camera. And also if one camera fails, you still have the backup camera that recorded all of the interview. Now tip number four is to capture B-roll. To help tell the story better, and keep the audience engaged, you want to capture enough B-roll. You want to pay attention to what the interviewee is saying so that you can capture the content you need to support the story. Having enough B-roll will also make the edit easier. For example, if the talent scratches his face 
while answering the question or does something weird with his hands. You can overlap that part with a B-roll, but of course you want to avoid that in the first place and let the talent know about it. Now tip number five is to capture clean audio. Audio is half the viewing experience, but unfortunately gets often forgotten. Now if you can, avoid using the built-in mic on your smartphone. It does produce decent audio quality and can be used in certain scenarios, but if you want the best audio quality possible, I recommend investing in a good microphone. For this interview, I use the Rode Wireless Go, which is a wireless mic that allows me to place the microphone close to the talent's mouth. This way I can capture clean, crisp audio while having the talent further away from the camera. But you can of course use something cheaper such as a wired mic like the Rode Lavalier Plus with an extension cable to get clean audio. Important to keep in mind is that with bad audio, you will quickly lose the attention of your audience. As a bonus tip, make sure to always bring a power bank with you. You don't want the limitations of your battery to cut an interview short. It's sometimes hard to predict how long an interview might take. And if you additionally want to capture B-rolls, this will take an entire day to do. And using an app like Filmic Pro can drain a lot of battery. Many people ask me why I use the DJI OM4 instead of the DJI OM5. Well, the OM4 allows me to charge my phone either while shooting or not. And for me, it's convenient to have everything in one. Now, I personally enjoy shooting interviews on a phone as there are many advantages to it. Some of them being that people feel much less intimidated by a smartphone since most people carry one in their pockets and are therefore familiar with it. I can also get a more natural reaction from the talent and helps make the video look more authentic. Now with that said guys, if you want to learn more, head over to smartphonefilmmaking.com, the epic online course where you will learn everything there is to shooting cinematic and professional looking videos on your smartphone. Now, if you're new to making mobile videos, make sure to also download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality videos with your phone. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button as this will help me make more valuable content for you guys. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day and you should be going out and shooting. I appreciate you, keep it mobile and I will see you in the next video. So I wanna thank Manu for helping out in this video. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, you can also follow him on Instagram at Manu Statics if you guys want to. Thanks, Bennett. Hey, Hope anytime. Hope to see you at our training soon. Oh, man. <laughs> I like eating McDonald's. No. I like eating McDonald's too. <laughs>